All right, thanks, Barry. Well, these are just some of the numerous scenes that flooded streets, parking lots, and cars in Lynn tonight. Get this, the fire department says it responded to more than 100 flooding calls today, 100. WBZ's Tiffany Chan is live for us in Lynn tonight as people try to bail themselves out. Tiffany? Ken and Katie, I want to show you just how severe the flooding here is on Bennett Street in Lynn. The water has receded dramatically since this morning to where cars can now pass through here slowly. And neighbors here telling me their basements are completely flooded out. They have no choice but to stay dry any way they can. It's probably six feet deep. Philip Hunt is literally on his hands and knees. Jump. He's trying to salvage anything he can from the flooded basement of this convenience store in Lynn. The water's reaching the top of the stairs. The damage has just been extravagant. This is just a glimpse of the devastation around the city after torrential downpours led to flash flooding. The Linway looked like a pond. Many drivers that try to get through the floodwaters failed miserably, forcing first responders to come to the rescue. The most severe things has, has been and the most immediate danger is people trapped in cars. It's horrendous. It is crazy, and it's unfortunate for everybody that has their cars totaled. Efforts are underway to restore power to hundreds of residents in Lynn as the cleanup here continues. For Philip, he's just worried about what he'll find once all this water is gone. Two, three, four days, and then it's going to be what is going to be the damage after this. And right now, the biggest priority is restoring power to about 600 residents here. You can see cars trying to pass through these floodwaters. The Lynn Fire Department is working to assess the flood damage to see when it is safe to turn the power back on. Live in Lynn, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.